What's up Star Wars fans, thanks for tuning in to another video. Today we're doing my top 10 Black Series figures for 2020. This is a really difficult list to compile. Um, I actually tried to do like a bit of a stats thing to work out how many figures have been released this year, how many were exclusive, etc. But with things like the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back, the credit collection, um, all the repacks, repaints, carbonized stuff, all that sort of stuff, re-releases, archive figures, it's really hard to keep track. Um, I did work out that I've got myself around about 80 to 90 new figures this year, uh, just in the Black Series, which is just ridiculous. Um, I sort of had to go scroll back through my Instagram account through the year and just catalogue everything, because I generally do post every time I get something, unless it's a duplicate, with like a Stormtrooper or something, I won't post that twice. So I went back and looked at it all. So we're gonna start my top 10. It's technically a top 12 because I gave myself a couple of honorable mentions because this is my video and these are my rules. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to start off with my first honorable mention is Dark Side Ray. Probably one of the newest ones. Well, it is one of the newest ones. Pretty great figure. I was really, really excited for this one. Turned out fantastic. Um, a lot of people would have preferred like a soft goods hood over the top, but seeing I don't think Hasbro have nailed the hoods yet. Um, and the way this one sits is pretty damn good, so I don't mind that at all. Um, it's, a, it's a nice figure, I, I, I dig it. I wish the uh, lightsaber, um, the sort of bronzy look on the lightsaber wasn't so plastic-y looking. Um, but I did do a review of this one, so if you want a closer look, come and check out my review. Um, it's a it's a pretty good figure, but didn't quite crack the top ten. So honorable mention it is. And my next honorable mention is Endor Han Solo. This one could have quite easily slopped into slotted into the top ten, um, but there are some fantastic figures that are that pushed him down just a little bit. Again, I have reviewed all these figures, so um, come check them out. <laughs> if you haven't had a good look at them already. So, um, yeah, this is a fantastic Han Solo. Um, really looking forward to hopefully getting a, an updated New Hope Han Solo at some point soon. Um, they've, they've got all the parts for it. Um, you know, the new photo reel head sculpt would be fantastic. Uh, yeah, really hoping they do that, as well as Luke and Leia. They'd both be fantastic. Um, updated. So without further ado, let's kick off with number 10. So jumping into number 10 is one of my favorite characters of all time, one of my, my favorite Jedi. It is Plo Koon. Uh, I was really, really happy to get this figure finally. Um, really, really looking forward to Plo Koon coming out as a Jedi in the uh, Black series. He's a brilliant figure, really cool Jedi. Um, I do wish Kit Fisto probably would have made it, into the, made it in this spot as well. Um, but I wish they'd used the same body as this one because Kit Fisto came out and he's a little bit short. Um, he probably should have been used with this mold um, so he could be a little bit taller. But uh, Plo Koon turned out fantastic. I really, really like this. The the uh, robes that are sort of, you know, distinct to him are great. He's got the hood that goes up. Again, like I said, with the... Uh, said with the dark raid that they haven't quite nailed the hoods hoods yet um, but it looks good it's not nicely done really great figure I'm just a big Plo Koon fan so I had to slot him in there somewhere but yeah the head sculpt was fantastic so on to number nine we're looking at the most updated Imperial Trooper Imperial Stormtrooper based on their appearance in the Mandalorian and uh, pretty much Rogue One as well because they use the same uh, same armor kits I believe as Rogue One so um, yeah fantastic trooper I did get four of these I'm looking forward to the Remnant Stormtrooper um, I do have that one pre-ordered it's using the same mold um, yeah really really pumped with this figure I know a couple of people had theirs come with like wonky helmets and you know, that's something I hope they've uh, sorted out now and future releases of this guy will see that problem sort of resolved and out the window. Um, 
just due to the fact that they did use a head sculpt underneath the helmet, um, which is a little unnecessary, but it leaves it open for the future. I don't know why, because uh, you know stormtroopers are generally faceless, um, but you know leaves it leaves it open for a potential Luke and Han re-release at some point down the down the line. So we'll see. Uh, fantastic trooper. I'm glad I got multiples of this guy. Just all the pinless technology they used in the in the joints, and uh, yeah, just just the just the aesthetic look of it. It's absolutely brilliant. I love this. I love these troopers a lot. Um, not that the bad ones were old, but uh, not that the old ones were bad. But uh, this one is just stellar. Really, really great. So slotting in at number eight, we have Moff Gideon. Yeah, only a new release. I literally got him just uh, over a week ago now, perhaps. Maybe it was a week ago. A little bit, a little bit over a week ago, perhaps. Fantastic figure. I love this a lot. The dark saber is brilliant. You can sort of see the light shining through the through the clear blade with the black sort of painted over. Yeah, I wasn't really sure when I opened this guy up, but the more time I've spent with him. Um, with this figure sort of messing around, I uh, yeah, really, really impressed with this one. Yeah, just some great details, and he's just a fantastic character too. So it was uh, kind of a no-brainer to slot this guy in. Uh, it's always it's always nice when Hasbro nails the humans, and uh, they're getting them they're getting them really, really great now. <laughs> um, that's that's all I can say really is. Uh, you know, I did mention in my review of this one, and I think Grief Karga as well, that if they can get the sort of shine out of the uh, photo, photo real paint apps on the face, uh, that will send them up another level because he does have a little bit of a glossy moustache. Um, the same thing happened with Grief Karga, but if they can get that down to like a nice matte sort of finish um, over the top of the faces, just to get them, you know, looking really, really good, that'd be fantastic. But uh, yeah, I've had a, I've had an absolute kick with this figure, it's fantastic, I really like it. And now coming in at number 7, the Dark Lord himself, Darth Vader. This guy got two releases this year, both in the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back line and the standard Black Series in the new collector's packaging. Um, and this is the best Vader that they've done in 6 inch so far. Um, I feel like with the New Hope one, they just was that far off um, but this one is absolutely fantastic he's got all the updated uh, articulation in the elbows uh, shoulders uh, elbows are the same I think actually uh, shoulders they've got the butterfly joints and the helmet sculpt is just so much better than anything else we've seen from the black series in terms of Vader's um, yeah just a really nice figure I wish the lightsaber would get a bit of an update but that's okay it's a uh, pretty solid hilt and uh, I, was, I was probably more disappointed that they used the same hilt for the uh, Attack of the Clones Anakin um, and just repainted it slightly different because it's a chunky, chunky piece. But yeah, this is a f absolutely fantastic Vader. He's got just the right amount of like shine on the helmet. Uh, he still has those sort of grey highlights that they, you know, that's film accurate. But yeah, you can get him, you know, with those butterfly joints in the upper chest um, gives him that opportunity to hold the lightsaber with two hands with no issues at all no no awkwardness it doesn't look gummy it looks you know perfect so yeah vader slides in at number seven and sliding in at number six we have another villain this time we're going back to the prequels episode two attack of the clones and of course partially revenge of the sith Count Dooku. I couldn't let this guy slide. This is a uh, absolutely brilliant figure. He is fantastic. This guy turned out so much better than I expected. Um, this one sort of this one really overthrew the uh, SH figure arts for me as well, um, which is one I did pick up. I uh, spent probably I think that was quite ninety to hundred dollars Australian, and uh, you know a thirty-five dollar figure here just eclipsed it by a long shot, easy. Um, the cape's nice, the sort of two-tone uh, fabric they've made here, it's, you know, brown on the outside, sort of that sort of light, creamy, goldish sort of color on the inside. 
Uh, they didn't have to use two for two separate fabrics for this, which is great. Um, the addition of the sort of lightsaber effect that you switch out for this, so it's got the sort of swingy effect uh, that Hot Toys are doing now as well, which is a fantastic addition. Um, articulation on this one's fantastic. He does have the butterfly joints. You can get him in some fantastic poses. The head sculpt's brilliant. Um, yeah, really, really captured it perfectly. Um, yeah, I was just absolutely thrilled with this one. He was uh, absolutely brilliant. Count Dooku. Um, begging for a release in the vintage collection by now. Um, hopefully we get him in 2021. But uh, yeah, fantastic addition to the Black Series line. I really highly rate this figure a lot. So he is number six. Time for number five. We've got Dagobah Luke Skywalker. Now this is the version that came with Yoda in the uh, sort of deluxe pack. Um, but this guy was packed singularly on the uh, Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary card. So um, yeah, a couple opportunities to get this figure. I know he's still out and around. Um, he was probably a little overpriced here in Australia at around $80 um, in the two pack with Yoda. Um, I think it was 80 anyway, that's probably a little bit much, but I'm thoroughly impressed with the figure. I like it a lot. Change of hands, so he's got like the force lift for the X-Wing. He's got two gripping hands and then a hand where you can pose him doing the handstand. Um, there is an Instagrammer called Tud Russell. Um, he actually re-sculpted this one's hair, so his hair was like sticking up. So when you have him doing the handstand, it is like falling to the ground. And that was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> But yeah, this is a great figure, great looking version of Luke. There are some amazing photographs out there um, on Instagram of this guy training with Yoda. You know, you can really get some photos and add to the scene, add to the Dagobah training of Luke with Yoda um, and throw in some, you know, use your imagination a little bit and capture some moments that weren't in the film. You can sort of understand that he did spend a little bit longer than like a couple of hours on Dagobah. Um, but yeah, really, really great fan, great figure, great articulation, great head sculpt, great paintwork. Um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So yeah, he came in at number five for me. All right, coming at number four and, uh, you know, earlier this year when this one came out, I thought this was going to be my number one for the year, but we've had it, we've had a couple, uh, that have just topped ahead. It is hot, hoth. Snow speeder pilot Luke. Um, this is just, there's a little bit of nostalgia in this figure for me. Um, my favorite figure growing up was the Power of the Force Luke, um, which, you know, it was listed as X Wing Luke on the packet, but he does have the gray gloves and the gray boots making him the Snow speeder pilot. Um, and yeah, I always just wanted the, like, just the ultimate sort of. Luke Skywalker action figure as a kid that, you know, in his orange suit, removable helmet, I did buy two of this one and I bought an extra Bespin Luke so I could swip the, swap the heads over and have one without the without the shower cap. Um, and yeah, that was an absolute fantastic figure. Um, but yeah, there's just something about the orange jumpsuit for me that just, I love it so much and they absolutely nailed this figure articulation. This is all new. This wasn't a re redo of the uh, X-Wing pilot from 2013. This is just all brand spanking new. And uh, yeah, I've given him the uh, harness, the, you know, the grappling gun that came with uh, Dak in the snow speeder. Um, so that works perfectly. You can get him in some fantastic poses. I just, uh, yeah, I've just got a real soft spot for the uh, Hoth outfit. Snow speeder pilot, I like the big neck sort of cushioning around the neck. Um, the grey gloves, the grey boots, just a fantastic figure. Yeah, I, don't, I just can't explain anything else. I just really love this Luke Skywalker. And uh, yeah, it looks fantastic with the helmet on too. Uh, probably my only gripe is that... Uh, just the uh, size of the helmet, it sort of knocks on the knocks on the big puffy collar um, a little bit, so it just makes it a little bit awkward to move around and pose. But otherwise, it's uh, 
it's fine. I'm really stoked on that one. This is why he made it to number four. All right, number three. This one was long awaited. It is Zeb, what's his name? It's Garazeb Aurelius, finishing up the uh, Rebels crew, uh, which is just it turned out fantastic. I always said that this one would take a little bit longer. Um, you know, I understand that translating an alien like Zeb as sort of overly animated and stuff he was, it was always going to be difficult to translate that to live action um, or to as close to live action as you can for the look of the Black Series realistic figures. Um, and I guess they sort of had a little bit with... Uh, Jaro Topol from Jedi Fallen Order, so we got to sort of see another one of his species. And now we've got Zeb, and the artwork on the box was fantastic. Um, yeah, the the weapon is fantastic, his bow rifle is fantastic, the way you can change it into his blaster, his shorter, sort of stockier staff, and the way it sort of pegs onto his back is just top notch. Um, yeah, the size of the figure's great. Um, it did warrant a little bit of a higher price tag, but, you know, it's it's a bit more plastic than most. So, um, yeah, just another fantastic figure. He comes in at number three. Um, yeah, check out the reviews on this one. Get yourself a Zeb, because he is fantastic. All right, now number two. This was kind of unexpected for me. I didn't expect to love this figure as much as I do, but it is Quill from The Mandalorian. This figure just absolutely wipes the floor. Um, I did my review and I raved about it for a good solid five or five or six minutes. So um, go and check out that for some closer for a closer look and the details and all that. But yeah, just just the look of this guy. It's just absolutely bang on perfect. I love it a lot. Um, yeah, there's so many so many of these figures could have quite easily jumped into top two. Um, but yeah, Quill for me. I love the character. Um, yeah, it's just absolutely fantastic. I love the hats removable. So you've got a nice bald looking Ugnaught underneath. And yeah, just Hasbro got this one right from the get go. Like it's just, you know, worth the wait for this guy to come out. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get a vintage collection one announced very very soon um i know a lot of the fans sort of waiting every monday and monday for a, for a vintage collection quill and they haven't announced him so i dare say there's one in the work it works um you know it's just a matter of scaling this guy down and if a vintage collection one is as good as this we're in for a treat so yeah definitely recommending getting quill uh just an absolutely fantastic figure i love it a lot All right, now coming in at number one for me, this is one of my favorite characters. Uh, he's from the Clone Wars. He's probably one of my favorite bounty hunters too. Um, and this figure is just absolutely fantastic. Cad Bane, what a, what a marvelous uh, addition to the line this is. Um, I got the deluxe one that came with Toto 360. Uh, didn't want to bring him into the review because I just wanted to talk about Cad. So yeah, this just captures the character perfectly um he's got the hat he's got the duster coat he's got the du the dual pistols the gunslinger that's what he represents he's basically clint eastwood in space um yeah i just can't say anything more about this figure if you have this figure you understand how great this guy is um there's nothing on this side I can think they could have improved on um probably the only thing I have seen with a couple of people are the sort of wires on the uh, elbows have sort of snapped. So if Hasbro could look into making that a little bit better in the future, I'm not sure how to do it. Uh, maybe with a little bit more sort of flexible plastic. Um, but yeah, I've seen a few peoples that have snapped just bending the elbows. Um, mine's been okay so far. I can sort of see a couple of weak spots, but being that he is... Uh, sort of posed like this on my shelf i'm i'm more than happy with it so i do have a bit of blue tack there to keep his hat on because it did fall off quite easily but yeah i love cad bane a lot just an absolutely fantastic character from the clone wars uh hope to see him in live action one day um we'll see It'd be fantastic 
especially with the book of Boba Fett. If we're going to look at Boba Fett's past and see a little bit more of him, um, maybe we can get that shootout where Cad Bane meets his demise to Boba Fett without, but not before, putting a dent in his helmet. So yeah, number one, Cad Bane. All right, thanks for tuning in to my top 10 Black Series of 2020. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. Um, yeah, go back and check any of the reviews. They're not too far back in my channel. Um, you can go back and look at close-up reviews of all the figures I just mentioned. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments your top 10 or you know, send me a link to a video that you've done yourself. And uh, yeah, let me know any thoughts, feedback, comments, anything awesome, just pop them below. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. May the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.